Hi, what's up guys? It's Dr. Mozam Tewana here. And in today's class, uh, we are basically going to talk about the various configurations in which the base station is connected to the base station controller in the case of a GSM network. Now, when we talk about the connections between the base stations and the BSCs, basically there are three possible types of configurations. One is the serial configuration, the second one is the ring configuration and the third one is the star configuration. And each of these configuration has its certain advantages and disadvantages as we will discuss later on. Now first of all we are going to discuss the serial configuration. In this serial configuration as is evident from the diagram, BSC, BTS and the other BTSs that are connected to the BSC, all of them are connected in serial. And when does this connect, uh, this case of this, con uh, this configuration is most frequently used? This uh, configuration is most f frequently used, for example, uh, on the highways, when there is a large distance between two cities and you are going from one city to the another city, in that case, uh, on the highway, the BTSs can be connected in serial to one another and then to the BSC. And the connection, uh, how these connections between the BSC and the BTS is made, this is basically on the your E1 lines are, when you talk about the American standards, this connection is on the T1 lines. And similarly, the, the connection between BTS and BTS is also on the E1 lines. So the advantage of this configuration is that this configuration uses the channels in those E1s very efficiently. As a result, the number of required E1s that reduces. So in that respect, this uh, configuration is very cost effective as you require less number of E1s. Now, uh, this configuration is uh, a, has a very evident disadvantage and that disadvantage is that there is no protection in case of link breakdown. For example, in, in this case, if there is a link down here between these two b base stations, you can very well imagine that the other two ba base stations on the left side would no longer be connected to the network. Now, when uh, we come to the uh, star configuration and in the case of star configuration, uh, as evident from the diagram, one BSC is connected with one BTS. One obvious disadvantage of this is that if there is a breakdown of the link between a BSC and the BTS, the BTS can no longer connect with the network and resultingly the subscribers of the that BTS cannot connect to the network and other users as well cannot connect to them. Uh, so uh, and also in this case we see that there is an inefficient use of the E1 uh, line. This means the line cost increases at, as we are not using the channels in those E1s in a very efficient way. So now we come to the uh, ring configuration. Here as you can see uh, in the ring configuration uh, the basically the BSC, the BTS and the uh, base stations are connected in serial but they form a ring. Uh, what does uh, one dis obvious disadvantage of this scheme is that basically uh, the E1 channels are not used very efficiently, so the required number of E1s uh, increase because uh, basically you are connecting to a BTS from two, you can connect to a BTS from two different directions, from the right direction and from the left direction. So the number of required E1s uh, increase. Uh, so the line cost increases and one of the major advantage of this approach is that if there is a breakup in a connection as is evident in the uh, diagram. So in that case that BTS is still connected to the network and uh, the traffic to that BTS can be switched to the alternate path.